welcome back to Catherine's Plates. Today, do I have a good one for you. I'm going to take an ordinary pasta salad and I'm going to ramp it up a level and we're going to create a Mexican street corn pasta salad. All the flavors of Mexican that we love, we're going to put it into pasta salad. Guys, are you ready for this one? Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is start bringing a pot of water to a boil. Now, I've just got some salt here because we want to season our water before the pasta goes in. So I'm just going to put in about two teaspoons of salt and flavor that water while it's starting to boil. Pasta. Now, you want 16 ounces. I'm using a penne pasta. I use, use this a lot when I make pasta salad. You can use the rigatoni. You can use like elbow pasta if you like that. That's a really good classic pasta for salads. So what you want to do is you want to cook this per the instructions on the back of the package and then we're going to drain it, place it into a large bowl and then we're going to add salt, pepper, some olive oil to just kind of coat the pasta. And then we are going to cool it down completely. All right, let me come back to you. pasta is cooling down you can either just leave it on the countertop and let it cool down there or you know if you want a faster way to do it just put it in your refrigerator and let it cool down there just kind of mix it up a little bit to keep the pasta from sticking a lot okay we're gonna go ahead now and make the dressing and then we're gonna put this all together so the first thing you just need like a medium bowl and we've got some mayonnaise and sour cream that I'm gonna put in it Okay, so we're going to start off with one third cup of mayonnaise. I think you always have to have this in a dressing, right? For pasta salad or potato salad. Okay, just put that in here. And then I'm going to put two thirds cup of some sour cream. Now, I've got a different spoon here, so we don't contaminate the sour cream container. We've got about a third there, and then we're gonna add another third. Okay, so I've got one lime here. Now, I rinsed it off really well and just dried it off, because, you know, a lot of people probably touch these in the store, so you wanna make sure that you are kind of cleaning these, because what we're gonna do is Put the full zest of this lime into our mayonnaise and sour cream right here. So I'm just going to take it and then just go around the whole lime and just get to the white. We don't want to do the white part because that'll be kind of bitter. Oh, the lime smells so good. And then what we're going to do is we're going to squeeze all the juice out of this lime. There. I think that's plenty right there. All right. I've got my lemon lime squeezer here. Now this is for the lime right here. So I'm just going to take a knife and cut my lime in half. and put it in. Now, I do put mine in upside down because it squeezes from the back end of it all the way down, but you can, if you want to do it the other way, you, you can. All right, now we're going to squeeze all of the juice out of this lime into our mixture here. Now just remember any tools that you see me using, if you're interested, check my description box down below. I usually list um, them down there and you can check them out. There we go. All right. 
Okay, so I've got some garlic powder here that I'm going to add about half a teaspoon. It'll really contradict those flavors in there. Really add a good flavor. All right. Okay, I've got some chili powder here. I'm going to add about half a teaspoon. We're going to mix this all up and then we're going to determine what other flavors we want in here. All right, and then for just a little kick, I've got some cayenne pepper here. Just a pinch, not very much. Like I said, we're gonna go back and taste the flavors of this. I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper and some salt. Okay, let's go ahead now and blend this all together. I'm going to use a whisk. <laughs> That'll help really incorporate everything. All right, go ahead and start tasting and adding and adjusting your flavors to what you want. This is the major flavor profile right here. Mmm, wow, that is so good. Okay, so let's go ahead now and bring our pasta back over here that has been chilling in my refrigerator. Go ahead now and just kind of make sure the pasta is all nice and loose. All right, I'm going to go ahead now and add my dressing. All this dressing is finger licking good, let me tell you. All right, I've got some corn here. We're going to add about 12 ounces of corn. And let's see, this is about 10. So we're gonna add all of this corn. All right, let's add the corn. Okay, y'all, here's another layer of flavor. <laughs> this is queso fresco cheese, or you can use like cojita cheese. And it's a nice, really crumbly cheese that's used a lot in Mexican dishes. Okay, yeah, it's a nice crumbly cheese. It's really delicious. Get about half a cup of this cheese in your pasta salad here. All right, what we're gonna do now is just mix this all together very carefully. Now, if you want to put cilantro in at this stage, you can. You can mix it up with all the other ingredients. I'm going to use it as a garnish at the end. Okay, y'all. What are y'all thinking? Mmm. Y'all ready to bowl this up and decorate it a little bit? And let's take a bite. Okay, what do you think of my street corn pasta salad, Mexican style? Let's get a fork and let's dive in. Okay, I have a little extra chili powder, some cotija cheese, and some cilantro to my bowl. What are you adding to yours? Mm. So here we go, pasta and corn. Mexican street style. Mm. It is so nice and cool, refreshing for these nice hot days out there. You guys, this would be great to keep pulling out of your refrigerator during the week to have. Mm. Okay. Y'all give me a thumbs up for this one. Make sure that you are subscribing to my channel and hit that bell notification so you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. Okay guys, 
I will see you on the next episode.